Hello survivors and welcome to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. Today we are going to be going over two premium cosmetic mods. Each of these mods cost $5 a pop. The first one we're going to be going over is the Roman Structure Skins by Orion Official. The second one is the Cosmetics of Ancient Rome mod by Real Jimmy Boguette. I feel that both these mods are very nice. Uh... I feel they were worth the $5, but that's my money, not yours. So I'm hoping that this video helps you decide whether this particular mod is worth it for you. So without further ado, let's get into it by looking at the first mod, which is the Roman Structure Skin mod. As we go into our cosmetics tab, you will see the Roman Structure skin mod is right here. It has 15 pieces to it. That includes the variants within it as counting as single pieces. And it comes with 14 icons. We'll be going through these. We'll be going through each one of these from left to right as we look at them. Now, with the Roman Structure skin, one thing that I really do like about this is that it has, when you hover over the skin icon in your Cosmetics tab, it shows all the things that it works, that it fits on. Now, one thing about this first skin, it is missing a couple of things that it does work on. And we'll go over there those as we look at it. So let's get into it and start looking at this mod. Okay, survivors. So for this first skin right here, the Roman structure skin works on all structures and most workbenches, as it states here. This, this particular skin works on, as you can see, works on all of the walls to include the quarter walls and the railings. It works on all the doorways and doors, as well as the windows. It works on your triangle and ceilings and foundations, as well as your quarter foundations and quarter ceilings. And, of course, it works on your regular foundations. And it gives this lovely print on the foundations and ceilings. Within this skin... It also gives you a skin for your table, your feeding troughs, your smithy, sorry, your forge, not your smithy, your smithy, your large storage container, your small storage container, the simple bed, as well as your toilet, your bench, and your chair. The next skin in this pack that we're going to look at is the pillar bottom skin. Now the pillar bottom, the pillar top, as well as this skin right here, the Roman special wall skin, have a variant for every pillar. So as you see here, you have the two different variants that are available for the pillars. For these, uh, for these, the second variant for all the pillars is as you see. If you look here, you have this lovely bottom pillar set there, and then you have the top pillar set here. This is the bottom pillar that is this skin right here. Oops, wrong button. This skin right here gives you that bottom of uh, the fla the flared bottom or stylized bottom of the pillar. Then if we go to the next skin here, this is the top. It gives us that nice uh, ornate top. Now all of these can be turned into this pillar as well. The next one that we are going to look at is these three curtains or banners. 
these three banners all attach to the trophy wall mount. And as you can see, this is two of the three trophy wall mounts. And if we move over, this is the third trophy wall mount. As you can see, it is quite large. It goes, I have it almost to the top, almost as far as I can go up there, and it goes all the way down to the bottom. The next one we are going to look at in this pack is the brazers. Now, the brazers work on the torch, the wall torch, and the campfire. Now, when it says torch, it's referring to the standing torch, not the hand torch. Keep that in mind. It is referring to the standing torch. This is the wall torch right here. The campfire gives you a sunken brazier look. Then you have the standing torch gives you a tall brazier look. Now the next one we're going to look at is the rug. Now the rug skin goes on your uh, your shag rug from Aberration, and it gives you three different options and sizes. You have the default size right here. If you go to your rug, hold down the action key, and you can go into the settings. You have your default, your medium, which makes it a medium-sized runner, and then you have your large, which makes this very large runner. Now over here, we have our next section. Our next one is the urns, the Roman ramp corner skin, and the ornate, the special wall skin. Now the special wall skin works on your double doors, your pillars, your wall, your ceiling tile, and the windows, and your second pillar. So what we have here is we have two pillars. We have this pillar here, which is our bottom pillar. But if I go, that's the first pillar we saw. But if I come in here, and I use the special one here, and I use, it gives us a different pillar look. It gives us a pillar where it has the ornate on the top instead of the bottom, right? And then if we go here, we can change it to where it has that variant. So here, we have the vase that works on the small decor boxes. The Sorry, the urn, it comes, it looks like a vase, but they call it urns. It's called, the, it works on the small decor box, the medium decor box, and the large decor box. Then you have the Roman ramp corner works on your sloped corner walls. And then we're going to go over the special wall skin that works on your double doors, your pillars, your walls, your ceiling tiles, and your windows. So if we come down here, we're going to start with the urns. This is the urn for the small decor box. If we come in here, as you see, there's no variation. So your small decor box gives you this urn. Your medium decor box gives you this vase or urn. And then this one gives you the other, this large one, the large decor box gives you this vase or urn. The next one we're going to look at is the sloped, the ramp sloped corner piece, which is right here. As you can see, it fits on the sloped wall, but it gives you changes the visual slightly keep in mind the collision is still in place for that standard slope wall then of course there's the special if we go back in here i will show you the special one the one that looks like an arch this is the special wall skin the special wall skin gives you this lattice look on your wall it turns the double door into an archway that still fits the regular door. 
And then it also works on your ceiling tiles, your regular ceiling tiles. It does not work on your triangle ceiling tiles or your quarter ceiling tiles, but it gives you this lattice look for your ceiling tiles as well. Then of course the pillar top gives you this flat pillar top on there. Now the last section we're going to look at is the statues, the food and the candles. Now the statues, food and candles all work off of the small, medium and large decor boxes and give you multiple variants for each one. So let's start with the statues first. We're going to go back and we're going to go to the small decor box. Gives you a bust on a pillar. So if we go to the small decor box, we have the default, head number two, head number three, and then we, I believe we go back to the default. Your medium decor gives you a standing statue such as this. And this one, again, gives you multiple options. You have your first, your default. You have your second one, which is another, which is another maiden. Then your third one, which is a slightly larger maiden. And then we go back to our default. Now, this behemoth of a statue is used on the large decor box. Now there are only two options on this one. You have this statue here, which is quite nice, even though it is large. And you have the lion as your second option. And here is the lion. Now keep in mind, decor boxes do not have a collision, so you can walk right through these statues. There's no collision involved in these. And that goes the same for your food options. Now your food options, you start with the cheese as your default. Then you have an apple, a piece of bread, a wine bottle, a plate, a bowl, and then back to your default slice of cheese. Now, for your candles, you have the right default candle, you have a large candle, you have a small candle, you have a bag, a book, a scroll, a quill, an ink bottle, and that is all your options there. Now, the food and the candle decor both go on a small decor box. Okay, keep that in mind. That was the Roman Structure Skins by Orion Official. Now, the next skin we're going to look at is the Cosmetics of Ancient Rome. As you see, I am wearing one of the cosmetic, one of the cosmetic outfits that I pieced together from it. This particular outfit I'm wearing has a nice little treat for you in it. So we're going to go over this right now. As you see, in my pet slot right here, I have the lion's headdress on. The saber tooth headdress, sorry. Once I put the saber tooth headdress on and then put on my chest piece, it sits quite nicely on me and adds some flavor to my skin. Now, if I go to here, it has over 108 pieces in this decor pack. You heard me right, over 108 pieces. It goes everything from a from procedural garb, uh, several different types of for your swords, your at your picks, your axes, your bat, your shields. Several options for headgear, as well as your chest piece. You have only one option for footwear. You have a cape that you can wear. You have, again, more headgear options, a loincloth. And then you have more options down here for your shoulders, 
for example, I can take this and put this here on my hand and it'll change my look and give me brazers on my arms. Due to the enormous size and options, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I will go through a few. You have the different types of swords that go fit nicely on your sword. And then you have the trident for your pick. This is post recording, Mikey. It is pike, not pick. What was I thinking? You have a pair of scissors for your sword, scissors for your hatchet, and a scissor for your stone hatchet as well. Now keep in mind, these are for two different hatchets. Now, one thing that I found extremely interesting with this particular mod is they went above and beyond. If you look here, they give us a complete, not a complete history, but a good history of what each piece has to offer and what it was used for. For example, you have your Vitus. With the Vitus, Centurions beat disobedient soldiers, and the Vitus quickly became a sign of authority and discipline in the legions. Then you have the Glatius, a short pointed, double, ed double edged iron sword, proficient in stabbing, attacking, and intended for use alongside the long septum. So, as you can see, they went above and they did the research to be able to give you the history of the pieces that you're going to be using in the game to play a Centurion. Well, everybody, thank you for joining us. Uh, again, I hope this was extremely uh, informative and helpful in helping you make your choice on whether or not to purchase these two outstanding mods. Again, they are $5 a piece and they are available to use on official. So keep that in mind. If you found this content helpful in any way, please, please make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you've made it this far, I need one more thing from you guys. In the comments below, tell me what you would like to see reviewed next.